welcome to my channel today we're going to be slaying this wig right here so I'm gonna slay it from start to finish and show you guys how I like tweeze my part make it look natural all of that so I got this wig this past weekend at the hair store and it's called the hair topic soft and natural mega lace wig in number 118 and I got mine in an F1B30 and I will open the box and show you guys what it looks like. It's a really long wig. I'm never, I'm not really into super long wigs. So this is a first for me. But we're going to just lay it together. So this is your looks like your typical wig here it has a comb in the back and then two combs in the front on the sides on each side has your lace in the front this lace here and then it has adjustable straps at the bottom so what I'm gonna do right now is do the adjustable straps first and foremost because when I did try on the wig, like the model, the sample wig that they had at the hair store, it was kind of like a tighter fit. So I would say that this is like a medium cap. I have like a larger head, so I would say like the average head could fit this comfortably without having to adjust the straps. My head, on the other hand, is not the average. Oh, the average head. So before, so what we're going to do is this. These are the main things we're going to do. We're going to cut the lace, we're going to pluck the part, and we're going to make the part, you know, mesh with the scalp, everything like that. And then if we need to do any other adjustments, we will do them. So what first thing I like to do when I adjust the wig is try it on before cutting the lace. So I got my wig cap on. It's hard to try on wigs with the lace, but just try it on. See how it fits, what it's looking like before you cut it. not too bad i'm sensing we might need to flatten this out a little with a flat iron but we will see oh this is so pretty now, i'm not a middle part person so let's see what it's going to look like the side part yes that's what we're going to do right there what we're going to do is we're going to f them up okay so we're going to yeah we're going to do this so first let's cut the lace so what I like to do with my lace is I like to start from the edge and you see this little flappy part here. I start from right there. Get as close to the hair as possible without cutting the hair. Now of course you're, you might snag a few strands in the process. That's normal. We'll brush those strands out. This is hard lace by the way. Hard lace. This is hard lace. <laughs> it's pretty stiff actually. I'm not used to working with hard lace, but there are some pros and cons to both hard lace and soft lace. So um, I will say it's pretty easy for me to cut the hard lace. So yeah, you're just gonna keep cutting all around until you get to the other side and get to the other flap. So I like to take my wig brush and brush any hairs that inevitably got cut when we cut the lace. Just try to get that out of the picture as early as we can. Now that we did that, I like to widen my part because I want it to be as natural looking as possible. So I'm going to be plucking this part in the middle here. And what I do is I take the tweezers and I just start from the very beginning of the lace here. And I just pluck and keep moving backwards until I'm satisfied, okay? You don't wanna over pluck so since this is hard lace actually i'm going to use my fingers it's a little hard to pluck and it's since it's not soft lace it's hard lace so it's a little more durable just take like a couple strands at a time wrap them around your hand pull see real easy pull don't try to grab like 85 strands at once just a couple strands at a time make sure you're not over plucking the wig and just wrap around your fingers Okay, 
okay. So I think I'm satisfied with the part now because I can stick my finger in there and see that clearly the part is wide enough the way I like it. Okay, so that's how I want my part. That's how wide I want my part. So now, so again, you're gonna wanna take that brush and brush out any inevitable stragglers. So we are at the stage where we can pop this sucker on for further manipulation. So I'll pop this on. So adjust the wig how you want. This this wig is, I believe, traditionally a middle part. But I'm wearing it as a side part because I'm just more comfortable at a side part. I'm also noticing that this is kind of like humpy a little. So I'm going to take my flat iron and I'm going to just press it down here where I feel like it's just a little lumpy. And then I want to make my part look a little bit more natural. So I like to take like a very tiny like shader brush or like an angled eyebrow brush or something and then like a powder that matches this closer to my scalp color. So I take this middle color right here and I just take some of that powder and I pop it in the part. And it just gives it a more natural, more scalp like look. There you have it. She slayed. So let me show you guys how long this wig is. So it comes down to my belly in the front. That's how far it goes down my back. To my butt. To my butt! And yeah, like I said, this wig, mm, it sheds. And I'm not a fan of that, but a lot of wigs shed so I'm just gonna see what I can do maybe play with this a little bit more maybe brush it out a little bit more just to get rid of some of that factor but this is a nice little wig if you're just looking for like something to you know do to your hair for a night out and you're just like in a pinch or something you're just looking for something cute and sleek and sexy something long dramatic I don't know I just really like it so yeah I'll put links in the description box of how you can find or order this wig and I really hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you've tried this wig in the comment box make sure you subscribe before you leave give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will definitely see you in the next video bye and then ah oh, the hair is sticking to my sweater um I'm gonna roll my sleeves up because this wig is sticking to the I don't know why um the ooh, are my elbows ashy Wednesday. <gasps> oh my god! I like it or not. Hallelujah, you should thank the Lord for it is all of your life. No matter what the devil says, he likes it or not.